Gambler, welcome back. Today's video I call Two Minute Anti-Log. And what you're gonna learn in the next two to three minutes is how to calculate an anti-logarithm. If that sounds good, let's go get it. Let's start with what is an anti-log? It's the inverse of the logarithm. So if you have a logarithm base 10 of 1,000 equals three, so it's 10 raised to the third power equals 1,000. That's your regular logarithm problem. But let's say you want to take the anti-log of 3, base 10. What that is, is 1,000. Because 10 raised to the 3 is 1,000, so we want to undo that. We start with 1,000. And we're working backwards to undo the log. So, as I said, this is undoing a log. So if you're calculating a logarithm, you want to go backwards and take the anti-log. What is the anti-log formula? Given a base b and a log l, the anti-log formula is b, the base, raised to the l, the logarithm. So you can read this as the base raised to the power of the log. And that is how you calculate an anti-logarithm. Let's take a few examples. We'll start with base 2 and we want the anti-log of 4. So our formula is base raised to the log. So it's 2 raised to the 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. Let's take another anti-log. We'll start with base 3. We want the anti-log of 5. Well, 3 raised to the 5th power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 243. So what we want to do is we're, t we're undoing the log. That's all we're doing. And the simple formula is base raised to the log is your anti-log. Now to figure out and solve more anti-logarithms, you can go to this link here. If you're on the Math Celebrity site, you probably already are on the anti-log calculator. If you're finding us from YouTube, you're going to go to this address. I'll put the address in the description of this video. And then you're going to hit the search engine. So in the search box, you're going to type something like this. Anti-log of 5 or anti-log of 5 base 3. Now note, if you don't describe a base or add a base, we're assuming base 10, which is what most logarithms run on. So let's go ahead and head over to the calculator. We'll start with anti-log of 5 base 3. So all you're doing is stating an anti-log. You don't have to type it exactly like this. But if you have a base, you need to state the base. So you hit return, and what it's going to do is it'll run your problem, just like we did in the slideshow. And it's going to show you the formula and how we do an anti-log. So it's b raised to the a, 3 raised to the fifth is 243. Now let's say... You're assuming base 10 and you don't type your base. So we'll say anti-log of 4. The calculator assumes base 10 because that's a standard logarithm. And it's going to say, okay, using a base of 10, find the anti-log of 4. Well, we know our formula is b raised to the a. So 10 raised to the 4, 10,000. So the calculator is very simple to use. And if you ever need homework help or you just feel stuck, always come on over to the calculator and we will walk you through these problems step by step. So have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.